This week on Click, browser wars. As European PC owners are asked to choose a web browser, we'll explain what's happening, let the browser bosses fight it out, and play the videos sent in to us with what viewers are choosing. Now, if you live in Europe and you're a Windows user, chances are you've already seen or you're about to see this screen popping up on your computer, asking you to choose which browser you'd like to use. But anyone who's used the internet already has this sorted, don't they? So what's the big deal? Well, Microsoft has been providing the web's most popular browser, Internet Explorer, with its Windows operating system as the default option. But after complaints from other browser companies, the European Union ruled that this bundling of Internet Explorer with Windows amounted to an unfair advantage for its homemade browser, especially as so many PCs run Windows. It's demanded that the PC giant give us an active choice as to which browser should be the one that pops up by default on Windows machines when you want to browse the web. Now that could challenge the dominance of Internet Explorer, currently the most used browser, by raising awareness of the alternatives. Now do not adjust your sets. We haven't. In fact, I have invaded the brand new Webscape set. And look who's still here. It's Kate Russell. Hello. Hi. Do you ever leave? <laughs> no, no. In fact, I've got everything I need here. My television should be right where you are, so I'm Sorry hoping you'll that. leave soon. OK, cool. I saw the sleeping bag of the crisp packets behind the back as well. <laughs> now, listen, tell us about this browser ballot then. We've always had a choice of web browsers if we use PCs. Surely this is a choice that's already been made. Well, yes, that's fair to say for a lot of people, people like you, me, perhaps a, a number of our viewers. Um, but there are also a lot of people who use computers and use the internet who don't have the same levels of knowledge, haven't investigated whether there are any choices, don't even realise that it's worth investigating. So this is what the European Commission are trying to address, is basically to make sure that everybody who uses a computer knows that there are choices and that it might be worth looking into better options, better features for their particular needs. Okay, so which browser to choose? That's the question we asked to the execs of the five most popular browsers. Unsurprisingly, they all fancied you downloading theirs. Here's what they said. Internet Explorer is the most popular browser, it's the most compatible browser, and it's the browser that really protects your privacy and safety on the internet uh, in, to, to best advantage. Uh, and when you couple that with some of the unique user interface enhancements, there's a reason why Internet Explorer is simply the most popular browser on the internet. Opera is a company that's been around for a long time, actually 15 years. And we've been focusing on usability and general speed for all this time. We have things like Opera Turbo that if you're on a slow connection, makes it a little bit faster. If you, if you have things like uh, Opera Link and Opera Unite as innovation that allow you to synchronize your bookmarks between computers and even your mobile phone. We have Opera Unite that allows you to share data and services with your friends. And we have a security record that's second to none. First of all, I think it's really great that people are getting an opportunity to make this choice. The browser is the single most important application you use on your computer today, and it's very important uh, you take the time to make the right choice here. In terms of why Chrome, I love Chrome for its speed. It's blazingly fast. We designed it from the ground up uh, to be very, very fast for day-to-day -day use. From the time you click on the icon, as you browse it on web pages, it makes your browsing experience much faster. That's why I would recommend Chrome. You need to be fast and have good performance. Those are important. But, but we don't view the user as just the recipient of a web application or multiple web applications having access to you. We, we view you, or me, as the center. And so our philosophy on what the browser is is not just as nothing as possible. It needs to have those fundamentals. But it should also have the tools so that you or I can actually manage our experience a little bit. the views of the most powerful people in the browser business there. But not necessarily the most important people, Spencer. We've been asking you guys at home to send us your browser comments, what you use, why you use it. And here is a representative sample of what you sent us. Hello, Click. I've always been a Firefox fan until Chrome came out about one and a half years ago. 
I just love how fast and sleek and simple everything is. And now I can customize my browser with like themes and extensions and everything, which makes my whole internet experience very exciting. I'm Paddy, and I use Opera to browse the internet because it's fast. It works on Windows, Linux, and Mac. It's got really cool features like Opera Turbo and Unite. It's got visual tabs and speed dial. And Opera Lynx syncs my desktop with Opera Mini on my phone so I can browse in the go. I will actually choose um, Mozilla Firefox because you can almost um, install any toolbars and it's actually super solid fast. I use a Mac and I run Firefox version 3.6. I like it because I find it secure and enables me to do stuff that I find makes my life easier. I use Safari to browse the internet because I keep forgetting to download Opera and Safari is okay most of the time. I use SeaMonkey which is a direct descendant from Netscape. Uh, it doesn't crash like Internet Explorer. Uh, Firefox just doesn't do the things that I want really. And uh, SeaMonkey 2.0 also allows keyword searches from within the URL bar. I was a Google Chrome user but now I use Opera. There are so many add-ons and gadgets. The mouse gestures and voice commands are brilliant. However the best bit is the speed dial home page. It makes getting around so much quicker. My favorite browser is Internet Explorer. It's simply the best. My favorite browser has to be Safari. It does what it does and it does it well while looking good. Whereas the others are pretty... yeah. Thanks for all your comments and remember the browser ballot or choice screen as Microsoft is calling it will appear on your PC very soon but only if you use Windows and only if you're in Europe. Got it? Good. Right, you have another choice now. This set is not big enough for the both of us. Who would you like to guest present Webscape this week? All vote now. That was a good choice because I have some cracking websites to show you today.